Hi Leo, this is your Just Cause reading for September 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for September 2022 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for September 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for September 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Leo... Leo, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Leo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Leo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Leo, is the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Leo, someone could have the spark of a new idea. Someone could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument or starting a passionate new beginning clarify the ace of wands for leo and their partner clarify the ace of wands for leo and their partner clarify the ace of wands for leo and their partner it is clarified with the knight of wands aries leo or sag this is either you or your partner rushing in to start a passionate creative new endeavor and someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Leo, you know, there could be a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo and their partner. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Oh, I want to play with you. This is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Leo, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. This could also be some type of a, an agreement. So listen, it very well could be that we have this soulmate energy and we're just ready to get this party started right rights okay however you know there could be some type of you know rushing in going off going hand passion with a heated discussion or argument and you guys are soulmates over something that someone initiated or someone just took it upon themselves to do here however there could be a rushing in going off going hand passion with a heated discussion or argument over some type of an agreement leo you have the page of swords you have the eight of swords you have justice 
Your partner has the three of pentacles. Your partner has the queen of cups. And your partner has the knight of wands. Knight of wands. Yes, knight of wands. So listen, Leo, the mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, you know, we may have this soulmate energy and we're just ready to get this party started, right? Yes. You know, it could also be that there is an argument taking place because someone started a passionate new beginning with someone they have a connection with. Could also be a rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument over some type of agreement. Leo, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Leo, listen, very well could be some immature Mature, premature communication had here yes however you can tell me you went looking and spying researching something clarify the page of swords for leo clarify the page of swords for leo clarify the page of swords for leo it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Leo, you know, you can tell me that, you know, something is going on with work or business. Maybe you guys are having this, you know, immature, premature communication concerning work or it's something that you're discovering that's going on with work or you're telling me that yes you guys had this immature premature communication but you're wanting to work things out or you're looking into them before you decide whether or not you want to work things out leo you have the eight of swords gemini libra aquarius this is you feeling stuck like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation, yes? Or you're telling me that there's block communication here. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Leo, clarify the Eight of Swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus, but you can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Leo, clarify the world. For Leo, clarify the world. For Leo, it is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. 
So listen, Leo, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt with you guys? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Leo, you know, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You could be giving something here, receiving something here, or someone is giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So listen, Leo, I mean, are you receiving something here or giving them something here? Maybe someone has commitment on the brain here, but there's a stuck situation. It's just hanging, it's just stagnant. It's a stuck situation because we don't know. However, you can tell me that you guys may have had some type of commitment here and maybe you're stuck or blocking any type of forgiving and a cycle is closing out because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Hmm, it's almost like we want to forgive, but you're checking on things here or you want to go into some type of commitment, but we're checking on things here. Leo, listen, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Leo. Clarify justice for Leo. Clarify justice for Leo. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here, Leo. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you could be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Leo, you know, this can be the person from your past. You're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite here. Yes. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So listen, Leo, is it that this person is trying to make up and maybe even come in with some type of proposal here, wanting to go to the justice of the peace here? So reuniting and proposal and justice of the peace here, but I feel like you have to check on something before you work things out with this person. You're kind of stuck. It's kind of just stagnant or hanging in the balance here concerning whether or not you're going to receive this. It seems like they're trying to make up with you. I don't really know what happened. I don't know what happened between you guys. You know, you guys may have this soulmate energy, but maybe you suspect that there's they're out being a player getting cookies somewhere, or you guys had some type of argument. Listen, Leo, your partner has the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Leo, you know, it very well could be something going on at work, okay? Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement here. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it or there's a third party Clarify the three of pentacles for Leo's partner. 
Clarify the Three of Pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the Three of Pentacles for Leo's partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Leo, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict, judgment, answer, decision here. Very well could be that someone's asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Leo's partner. Clarify judgment for Leo's partner. Clarify judgment for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest. Whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money so listen leo your partner could tell me that they're waiting on money looking at their coins looking at their bank account your partner could tell me that they're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship that it could also be waiting on your judgment on whether or not you guys are going to work things out here so your partner could tell me that yeah there was a third party and you know there Asking themselves, you know, do I want to continue to invest here? Maybe waiting to come in and ask for forgiveness in a second chance or waiting to see if you're going to forgive them. You know, it could also be some type of an agreement going on here where your partner is waiting on some type of judgment. Hmm. Hmm. Leo, your partner has the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Leo, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So Leo, listen, your partner could tell me that you know, they're getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. So are they searching their emotions and using their intuition, thinking long and hard about making some type of an announcement here? Hmm. Hmm. Or something was brought to their attention concerning you. Listen, are you wanting to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation and apologize to them? Listen, Leo, your partner has the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. And someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic. And using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Leo, there could be a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So listen, Leo, I feel like your partner is telling me that they're having a difficult time. They're burdensome and they're wanting to release it. I feel like it's over a rushing and going off, going hand passionate with a heated discussion or argument. You told me in the beginning that you guys had this immature, premature communication, but maybe wanting to work things out here, okay? You guys may have had some type of argument here. So it very well could have been passionate communication with a rushing and going off, going hand passionately. Even though you guys are soulmates and both you guys are thinking about working things out. They want to work things out, want forgiveness and a second chance. They're waiting to see whether or not you're going to give it or waiting to come in. And yes, you guys had this conversation, but you're wanting to work things out here. Someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation with an apology here, wanting to reunite. Listen, Leo, this is your Just Cause reading for September 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.